So what I'm showing here is a new experimental technology that VMware has come up with called VM Direct Path. The VM Direct Path allows you to connect a virtual machine directly to a physical piece of hardware like a network card. Now, before, when we came up with virtualization for the Intel platform, we had to uh, create a virtualization system for I.O., specifically networking and storage, because most networking and storage systems were designed to have one function and be run by one kernel, and only applications that were going to use that would all go through that one kernel. So that's the way we designed ours. We have a kernel, and then all the virtual machines go through our kernel to get to the hardware. Now this had a lot of benefits, like we could do vMotion, where we could move a virtual machine from one physical server to another without disconnecting anybody, because the virtual machine was going through our kernel, so we could do a clean handoff. But it came at the price of a little bit of CPU overhead, because with virtualized networking, virtualized hard disk, any kind of virtualized I.O., there was some overhead. We really didn't notice it that much though, and our customers didn't really notice it that much, until we started getting into the area of 10 gigabit network cards. When we got to 10 gigabit network cards, we noticed that it was taking a lot of CPU time in order to manage all of the network packets. So what we did was, we took advantage of Intel's VTD technology, which allows us to remap DMA areas to virtual addresses and let virtual machines have access to those DMA areas. So now our virtual machines using VM Direct Path can connect directly to the physical network card. So when you want that performance or that speed, you can connect a virtual machine directly to a network card and have it. Now it comes at a price. You don't get to do things like vMotion. You don't get to do a suspend and resume because it's connected to the real physical world directly. But you can get some performance benefit out of it. Now the demonstration that we did, we took two equivalent servers, two virtual machines that were equivalent, the same, with the exception, one was directly connected to a physical network card, the other was using regular virtual networking. We ran spec JVB in them, generated some load, and here's the specifications we got. This is what we got as results. If you compare, if you took the virtual machine with just regular emulated network cards and set that as your 100% boundary, you'll see that by directly connecting to a physical network card, you can get a lot more spec JVB work done, 80 to 75% more. And that's because VTD and VM Direct Path frees up a lot of CPU cycles that were used for direct I.O. and virtual networking that can now be used to run real jobs like Java.